Hi, my name is Jeff Sandstrom. I'm the front of house engineer for Chris Tomlin. I also work with Passion Conferences and Passion City Church, as well as Israel Houghton and New Breed. I've been with Chris for about four and a half years, mixing all of his live sound when he's touring and uh, doing other events and festivals. I started in the studio uh, with, with Pro Tools and Waves and, and studio recording and uh, made the transition to live sound uh, over the years through work with my church and uh, actually have a Dove Award for producing a series of albums for Integrity Music called Shout Praises Kids. I was really excited when I found out that Waves had kind of made its way into the live sound environment because I transitioned from a studio setting into live front of house sound um, over the last 10 years and had always used Waves in a studio setting and you know all the way back from you know the Musicians Bundle through the Gold Bundle up to the Platinum Bundle and you know some of the older plugins that I started using first you know the Renaissance compressor was kind of always a standard for me and and so to know that I can take preset files from the studio you know if I have a vocal chain that I really like or a drum sound that I really like or I've got this compressor really dialed in on the kick drum a certain way that I can load that into the, the front of house console and that it sounds the same it's a really great way to have a good starting point for uh, a live kick drum and to know that when I make adjustments to that plug-in that it's going to do the same thing that it does in the studio setting. It's, it just makes workflow so much easier and the sound, I, I know that it's reliable and I can depend on it. So a good example of a plug-in that I started using recently is H-Comp and uh, I found that it works great on drums. Uh, for example, the other day I replaced the plug-in that I was always kind of my go-to plug-in for snare drum and put H-Comp on the snare drum, just the snare top mic and just started going through the presets of different drum options in the in the load menu and got to a snare drum sound that I really liked just made a couple of adjustments you know lowered the threshold a little bit maybe um, turned up the punch knob just a hair it was the fastest way that I've ever been able to get the snare drum to sound the way I wanted it to sound so like a lot of guys um, you know in a, in a live setting you get used to doing a mix a certain way and uh, there's certain plugins that are kind of your go-to tools. You know, I look, at, I look at different tools that we have as kind of different colors in a palette, and you sort of get used to a certain way of doing things, a, a certain workflow. So this week I had the opportunity to just have a little extra rehearsal with, with the band, and I decided to kind of try something different on a particular female vocal that I was working on. So I replaced the plugins that had kind of become my go-to standby sort of signal chain and replace them with the C4 compressor, the Renaissance Vox, and it just, it's like opened everything up. It was, it was amazing to me how the, the sparkle kind of came back and it wasn't overly compressed. It wasn't, it was, it was just, it's kind of like it woke up the sound and it was just a really kind of telling moment for me that, you know, the wave stuff is just superior in the way it handles uh, the signal and the way it can really make the sound come to life.